Punjab Urdu Punjabi Punjab Punjab Five Waters Listen is Pakistan's second largest province by area after Balochistan and its most populous province with an estimated population of 110,012,442 as of 2017 Forming part of the larger Punjab region of the Indian subcontinent, it is bordered by the Pakistan provinces of Sindh, Baluchistan, and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, the enclave of Islamabad, and Azad Kashmir. It also shares borders with the Indian states of Punjab, Rajasthan and Jammu and Kashmir. The provincial capital of Punjab is the city Lahore, a cultural, historical, economic and cosmopolitan centre of Pakistan where the country's cinema industry, and much of its fashion industry, are based. Punjab has been inhabited since ancient times. The Indus Valley Civilization, dating to 2600 BCE, was first discovered at Harappa. Punjab features heavily in the Hindu epic poem, the Mahabharata, and is home to Taxila, site of what is considered by many to be the oldest university in the world. In 326 BCE, Alexander the Great defeated King Porus at the Battle of the Hydaspes near Mong, Punjab. The Umayyad Empire conquered Punjab in the 8th century CE. Punjab was later invaded by Tamerlane, Babur, and Nader Shah. Punjab reached the height of its splendor during the reign of the Mughal Empire, which for a time ruled from Lahore. Following a successful rebellion, Sikh-led armies claimed Lahore in 1759. The administration of the Sikh Empire was based out of Lahore, until its defeat by the British. Punjab was central to the independence movements of both India and Pakistan, with Lahore being site of both the Declaration of Indian Independence, and the resolution calling for the establishment of Pakistan. The province was formed when the Punjab province of British India was divided along religious boundaries in 1947 by the Radcliffe Line after partition. Punjab is Pakistan's most industrialized province with the industrial sector making up 24% of the province's gross domestic product. Punjab is known in Pakistan for its relative prosperity, and has the lowest rate of poverty amongst all Pakistani provinces. A clear divide is present between the northern and southern portions of the province, with poverty rates in prosperous northern Punjab amongst the lowest in Pakistan, while some in South Punjab are amongst the most impoverished. Punjab is also one of South Asia's most urbanized regions with approximately 40% of people living in urban areas. Its Human Development Index rankings are high relative to the rest of Pakistan. Punjab is known in Pakistan for its relatively liberal social attitudes. The province has been strongly influenced by Sufism, with numerous Sufi shrines spread across Punjab which attract millions of devotees annually. The founder of the Sikh faith, Guru Nanak, was born in the Punjab town of Nankana Sahib near Lahore. Punjab is also the site of the Katazraj temple, which features prominently in Hindu mythology. Several UNESCO World Heritage Sites are located in Punjab, including the Shalimar Gardens, the Lahore Fort, the archaeological excavations at Taxila, and the Rodas Fort. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The region was originally called Sapta Sindhu, the Vedic land of the seven rivers flowing into the ocean. The Sanskrit name for the region, as mentioned in the Ramayana and Mahabharata for example, was Panchanada which means, land of the five rivers, and was translated to Persian as Punjab after the Muslim conquests. The region was known to the Greeks as Pentapotamia, meaning the region of five rivers. The word Punjab was formally introduced in the early 17th century CE as an elision of the Persian words panj five and ab water, thus meaning the land of five rivers, similar in meaning to the Sanskrit and Greek name for the region. The five rivers, namely Chenab, Jhelum, Ravi, Bees and Sutlej, flow via the Panjainad River into the Indus River and eventually into the Arabian Sea. Of the five great rivers of Punjab, four course through Pakistan's Punjab province. History Due to its location, the Punjab region came under constant attack and witnessed centuries of foreign invasions by the Persians, Greeks, Kushans, Scythians, Turks and Afghans. The northwestern part of South Asia, including Punjab, was repeatedly invaded or conquered by various foreign empires, including those of Tamerlane, Alexander the Great, and Genghis Khan. Ancient history 
The oldest evidence of life in Pakistan has been found in Son River Valley. It was here that some of the earliest signs of humans have been discovered during the excavations of prehistoric mounds. Tools up to two million years old have been recovered in Patohar Plateau. In the Son River, many fossil-bearing rocks are exposed on the surface. 14 million year old fossils of gazelle, rhinoceros, crocodile, giraffe, and rodents have been found there. Punjab during Mahabharata times was known as Panchanada. Punjab was part of the Indus Valley Civilization, more than 4,000 years ago. The main site in Punjab was the city of Harappa. The Indus Valley Civilization spanned much of what is today Pakistan and eventually evolved into the Indo Aryan Civilization. The Vedic civilization flourished along the length of the Indus River. This civilization shaped subsequent cultures in South Asia and Afghanistan. Although the archaeological site at Harappa was partially damaged in 1857 when engineers constructing the Lahore Multan Railroad used brick from the Harappa ruins for track ballast, an abundance of artifacts have nevertheless been found. Punjab was part of the great ancient empires including the Gandhara Mahajanapadas, Achaemenids, Macedonians, Mauryas, Kushans, Guptas and Hindu Shahi. It also comprised the Gujar Empire for a period of time, otherwise known as the Gurhara Pratihara Empire. Agriculture flourished and trading cities such as Multan and Lahore grew in wealth. The city of Taxila, founded by son of Tox the son Bharat who was the brother of Ram. It was reputed to house the oldest university in the world, Takshashila University. One of the teachers was the great Vedic thinker and politician Chanakya. Taxila was a great center of learning and intellectual discussion during the Maurya Empire. It is a UN World Heritage Site, valued for its archaeological and religious history. <laughs> Gandhara Civilization Gandhara was an ancient kingdom situated in the northwestern region of Pakistan, in the Peshawar Valley and Patohar Plateau with its capital at Taxila. Gandhara existed since the time of the Rigveda c. 1500-1200 BC, as well as the Zoroastrian Avesta, which mentions it as Vaikarta, the sixth most beautiful place on earth, created by Ahura Mazda. Gandhara was conquered by the Achaemenid Empire in the 6th century BC. Conquered by Alexander the Great in 327 BC, it subsequently became part of the Maurya Empire and then the Indo Greek Kingdom. The name of the Gandharis is attested in the Rigveda RV and in ancient inscriptions dating back to Achaemenid Persia. The primary cities of Gandhara were Purusapura, Peshawar, Taxasila, Taxila, and Pushkalavati. Charsada. Gandhara's language was a Prakrit or Middle Indo Aryan. Dialect, usually called Gandhari. The language used the Kharisthi script, which died out about the 4th century. However, Punjabi, Kohistani, and Hinko are derived from the Indo Aryan Prakrits that were spoken in Gandhara and surrounding areas. The Parthian dynasty fell about 75 to another group from Central Asia. The Kushans moved from Central Asia to Bactria, where they stayed for a century. Around 75, one of their tribes, the Kushan Kusana, under the leadership of Kujula Kadphises gained control of Gandhara and other parts of what is now Pakistan. The Kushan period is considered the golden period of Gandhara. Gandhara's culture peaked during the reign of the great Kushan king Kanishka the Great 128 the cities of Taxila at Sursuk and Peshawar were built. Kanishka was a great patron of the Buddhist faith. Buddhism spread to Central Asia and the Far East across Bactria and Sogdia, where his empire met the Han Empire of China. Buddhist art spread from Gandhara to other parts of Asia. Under Kanishka, Gandhara became a holy land of Buddhism and attracted Chinese pilgrims eager to view the monuments associated with many Jatakas. The Hephthalite Huns captured Gandhara around 451, and did not adopt Buddhism, but in fact, perpetrated frightful massacres. Mahirakula became a terrible persecutor of the Buddhist religion. During their rule, Hinduism revived itself and the Buddhist Gandharan civilization declined. Topic. Central Asian, Greek and Persian empires The Achaemenid Persian Empire included Pujab west of the Indus. 
Having conquered Drangiana, Arachosia, Gadrosia and Sistan in ten days, Alexander the Great locally known as Iskander crossed the Hindu Kush and was thus fully informed of the magnificence of the country and its riches in gold, gems and pearls. However, Alexander had to encounter and reduce the tribes on the border of Punjab before entering the luxuriant plains. Having taken a northeasterly direction, he marched against the Aspi mountaineers, who offered vigorous resistance, but were subdued. Alexander then marched through Ghazni, blockaded Magasa, and then marched to Aura and Bazira. Turning to the northeast, Alexander marched to Pasela, the capital of the district now known as Pakli. He entered western Punjab, where the ancient city of Nysa at the site of modern-day Mong was situated. A coalition was formed against Alexander by the Kathians, the people of Multan, who were very skillful in war. Alexander invested many troops, eventually killing 17,000 Kathians in this battle, and the city of Sagala present-day Sialkot was razed to the ground. Alexander left Punjab in 326 BC and took his army to the heartlands of his empire. Indo-Greek Kingdom The Indo-Greek Kingdom or Greco-Indian Kingdom was a Hellenistic kingdom covering most of the Punjab. The kingdom was founded when the Greco-Bactrian king Demetrius invaded the subcontinent early in the 2nd century BC. The city of Sirkap founded by Demetrius combines Greek and Indian influences without signs of segregation between the two cultures. The most famous Indo-Greek ruler was Menander Melinda. He had his capital at Sakala in the Punjab present-day Sialkot. The Indo-Greeks were involved with local faiths, particularly with Buddhism, but also with Hinduism. Buddhism flourished under the Indo-Greek kings, and their rule, especially that of Menander, has been remembered as benevolent. Topic: <laughs> Indo-Scythians. The Indo-Scythian king Mauis invaded Indo-Greek territories in Punjab and established an Indo-Scythian empire. Mauis first conquered Gandhara and Taxila around 80 BCE, but his kingdom disintegrated after his death. The Indo-Scythians ultimately established a kingdom in the northwest South Asia, based near Taxila, with two great satraps, one in Mathura in the east, and one in Sarastrine Gujarat in the southwest. The Indo-Scythians seem to have been followers of Buddhism, and many of their practices apparently continued those of the Indo-Greeks. <inaudible> <inaudible> Indo-Parthian Kingdom The Indo-Parthian Kingdom was ruled by the Gondopharid dynasty with its capital at Taxila, Punjab. Gondafares, founder of Indo-Parthia Kingdom, was a ruler of Sistan in what is today eastern Iran, probably a vassal or relative of the Aprakarahas. Around 20–10 BCE, he made conquests in the former Indo-Scythian kingdom, perhaps after the death of the important ruler Aziz. Gondafares became the ruler of areas comprising Arachosia, Sistan, Sindh, Punjab, and the Kabul Valley. The Temple of Jandial, Taxila is usually interpreted as a Zoroastrian fire temple from the period of the Indo-Parthians. <inaudible> <inaudible> Muslim rulers <inaudible> Arrival of Islam The Punjabis followed a diverse plethora of faiths, mainly comprising Hinduism. When the Muslim Umayyad army led by Muhammad bin Qasim conquered Sindh and southern Punjab in 712 by defeating Raja Dahir. The Umayyad Caliphate was the second Arab Islamic caliphate established after the death of Muhammad. It was ruled by the Umayyad dynasty, whose name derives from Umayya ibn Abd Shams, the great grandfather of the first Umayyad caliph. Although the Umayyad family originally came from the city of Mecca, their capital was Damascus. Muhammad bin Qasim was the first to bring message of Islam to the population of Punjab. Punjab was part of different Muslim empires consisting of Afghans and Turkic peoples in cooperation with local Punjabi tribes and others. In the 11th century, during the reign of Mahmud of Ghazni, the province became an important center, with Lahore as its second capital of the Ghaznavid Empire based out of Afghanistan. The Punjab region became predominantly Muslim due to missionary Sufi saints whose dargahs dot the landscape of Punjab region. 
The area subsequently came under various other Muslim rulers until finally becoming part of the Mughal Empire in 1526. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Mughal Empire. The Punjab region rose to significance in the Hindustani Empire when Lahore became a seat for royal family in 1584, the legacy of which is seen today in its rich display of Mughal architecture. The Mughals controlled the region from 1524 until around 1739 and implemented building projects such as the Shalimar Gardens and the Badshahi Mosque, both situated in Lahore. Padshah Emperor Akbar established two of his original twelve subas imperial top-level provinces in Punjab. Northern Lahore Subha, bordering Kabul Afghanistan, later split off Kashmir, Old Delhi and Multan Subhas Southern Multan Subha, bordering Kabul, Lahore, Old Delhi, Ajmer, Thatta Sindh Subhas, the Persian Safavid Empire and shortly Kandahar Subha, Muslim soldiers, traders, architects, theologians and Sufis Muslim mystics came from the rest of the Muslim world to the Islamic Sultanate in South Asia. <laughs> Afghan Durrani Empire Swaths of what is now Punjab were annexed by the Afghan conqueror Ahmad Shah Durrani in 1747 as he made the Punjab a part of his Durrani Empire, lasting until 1762. <laughs> Maratha Empire In 1758 Raghunath Rao, the general of the Hindu Maratha Empire, conquered Lahore and Atak. Timur Shah Durrani, the son and viceroy of Durrani monarch Ahmad Shah Abdali, was driven out of Punjab. Lahore, Multan, Dara Ghazi Khan, Kashmir and other subhas ex-Mughal provinces on the south and eastern side of Peshawar were under the Maratha rule for the most part. In Punjab and Kashmir, the Marathas were now major players. The Third Battle of Panipat took place on 1761. Ahmad Shah Abdali invaded the Maratha territory of Punjab and captured remnants of the Maratha Empire in Punjab and Kashmir regions and re consolidated control over them. <laughs> <laughs> Sikh Empire In the mid 15th century, the religion of Sikhism was born. During the Mughal Empire, many Hindus increasingly adopted Sikhism. These became a formidable military force against the Mughals and later against the Afghan Empire. After fighting Ahmad Shah Durrani in the later 18th century, the Sikhs took control of Punjab and managed to establish the Sikh Empire under the Jat ruler Maharaja Ranjit Singh, which lasted from 1799 to 1849. The capital of Ranjit Singh's empire was Lahore, and the empire also extended into Afghanistan and Kashmir. Bangi Misl was the first Sikh band to conquer Lahore and other towns of Punjab. Syed Ahmad Barelvi a Muslim, waged jihad and attempted to create an Islamic state with strict enforcement of Islamic law. Syed Ahmad Barelvi in 1821 with many supporters and spent two years organizing popular and material support for his Punjab campaign. He carefully developed a network of people through the length and breadth of India to collect funds and encourage volunteers, travelling widely throughout India attracting a following among pious Muslims. In December 1826 Sayyid Ahmad and his followers clashed with Sikh troops at Akora Khatak, but with no decisive result. In a major battle near the town of Balakot in 1831, Sayyid Ahmad and Shah Ismail Shahid with volunteer Muslims were defeated by the professional Sikh army. British Empire Maharaja Ranjit Singh's death in the summer of 1839 brought political chaos and the subsequent battles of succession and the bloody infighting between the factions at court weakened the state. Relationships with neighbouring British territories then broke down, starting the First Anglo-Sikh War, this led to a British official being resident in Lahore and the annexation in 1849 of territory south of the Satluj to British India. After the Second Anglo-Sikh War in 1849, the Sikh Empire became the last territory to be merged into British India. In Jhelum 35 British soldiers of the Hum 24 Regiment were killed by the local resistance during the Indian Rebellion of 1857.
Topic: <laughs> Pakistani independence. In 1947 the Punjab province of British India was divided along religious lines into West Punjab and East Punjab. Western Punjab was assimilated into the new country of Pakistan, while East Punjab became a part of modern-day India. This led to massive rioting as both sides committed atrocities against fleeing refugees. The part of the Punjab now in Pakistan once formed a major region of British Punjab, and was home to a large minority population of Punjabi Sikhs and Hindus up to 1947. Apart from the Muslim majority, migration between eastern and western Punjab was continuous before independence. By the 1900s, western Punjab was predominantly Muslim and supported the Muslim League and Pakistan movement. After independence, the minority Hindus and Sikhs migrated to India while Muslim refugees from India settled in the western Punjab and across Pakistan. Recent history Since the 1950s, Punjab industrialized rapidly. New factories were established in Lahore, Sargada, Multan, Gurat, Gujranwala, Sialkot and Wa. In the 1960s the new city of Islamabad north of Rawalpindi. Agriculture continues to be the largest sector of Punjab's economy. The province is the breadbasket of the country as well as home to the largest ethnic group in Pakistan, the Punjabis. Unlike neighbouring India, there was no large-scale redistribution of agricultural land. As a result, most rural areas are dominated by a small set of feudalistic land-owning families. In the 1950s there was tension between the eastern and western halves of Pakistan. To address the situation, a new formula resulted in the abolition of the province status for Punjab in 1955. It was merged into a single province West Pakistan. In 1972, after East Pakistan seceded and became Bangladesh, Punjab again became a province. Punjab witnessed major battles between the armies of India and Pakistan in the wars of 1965 and 1971. Since the 1990s Punjab hosted several key sites of Pakistan's nuclear program such as Kahuta. It also hosts major military bases such as at Sargata and Rawalpindi. The peace process between India and Pakistan, which began in earnest in 2004, has helped pacify the situation. Trade and people-to-people -people contacts through the Wagha border are now starting to become common. Indian Sikh pilgrims visit holy sites such as Nankana Sahib. Starting in the 1980s, large numbers of Punjabis migrated to the Middle East, Britain, Spain, Canada and the United States for economic opportunities, forming the large Punjabi diaspora. Business and cultural ties between the United States and Punjab are growing. Geography Punjab is Pakistan's second largest province by area after Baluchistan with an area of 205,344 square kilometres 79,284 square miles. It occupies 25.8% of the total landmass of Pakistan. Punjab province is bordered by Sindh to the south, the province of Baluchistan to the southwest, the province of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa to the west, and the Islamabad capital territory and Azad Kashmir in the north. Punjab borders Jammu and Kashmir in the north, and the Indian states of Punjab and Rajasthan to the east. The capital and largest city is Lahore which was the historical capital of the wider Punjab region. Other important cities include Faisalabad, Rawalpindi, Gujranwala, Sargata, Multan, Sialkot, Bahawalpur, Gurat, Shikapura, Jhelum, and Sahiwal. The undivided Punjab region was home to six rivers, of which five flow through Pakistan's Punjab province. From west to east, the rivers are the Indus, Jhelum, Bees, Chenab, Ravi, and Sutlej. Nearly 60% of Pakistan's population lives in the Punjab. It is the nation's only province that touches every other province. It also surrounds the federal enclave of the national capital city at Islamabad. In the acronym PAKISTAN, the P is for Punjab. Topic: Topography. 
Punjab's landscape consists mostly consists of fertile alluvial plains of the Indus River and its four major tributaries in Pakistan, the Jhelum, Chenab, Ravi, and Sutlej rivers which traverse Punjab north to south, the fifth of the five waters of Punjab, the Bees River, lies exclusively in the Indian state of Punjab. The landscape is amongst the most heavily irrigated on earth and canals can be found throughout the province. Punjab also includes several mountainous regions, including the Sulayman Mountains in the southwest part of the province, the Margala Hills in the north near Islamabad, and the Salt Range which divides the most northerly portion of Punjab, the Pathohar Plateau, from the rest of the province. Sparse deserts can be found in southern Punjab near the border with Rajasthan and near the Sulayman Range. Punjab also contains part of the Thal and Khalistan deserts. In the south, Punjab's elevation reaches 2,327 metres 7 feet near the hill station of Fort Monroe in Dara Ghazi Khan. Climate Most areas in Punjab experience extreme weather with foggy winters, often accompanied by rain. By mid-February the temperature begins to rise, springtime weather continues until mid-April, when the summer heat sets in. The onset of the southwest monsoon is anticipated to reach Punjab by May, but since the early 1970s the weather pattern has been irregular. The spring monsoon has either skipped over the area or has caused it to rain so hard that floods have resulted. June and July are oppressively hot. Although official estimates rarely place the temperature above 46 degrees Celsius, newspaper sources claim that it reaches 51 degrees Celsius and regularly carry reports about people who have succumbed to the heat. Heat records were broken in Moulton in June 1993, when the mercury was reported to have risen to 54 degrees Celsius. In August the oppressive heat is punctuated by the rainy season, referred to as Barsat, which brings relief in its wake. The hardest part of the summer is then over, but cooler weather does not come until late October. Recently, the province experienced one of the coldest winters in the last 70 years. Punjab's region temperature ranges from minus 2 degrees to 45 degrees Celsius, but can reach 50 degrees Celsius (122 degrees Fahrenheit) in summer and can touch down to minus 10 degrees Celsius in winter. Climatically, Punjab has three major seasons. Hot weather April to June when temperature rises as high as 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Rainy season July to September. Average rainfall annual ranges between 96 cm sub-mountain region and 46 cm in the plains. Cooler, foggy, mild weather October to March. Temperature goes down as low as 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Weather extremes are notable from the hot and barren south to the cool hills of the north. The foothills of the Himalayas are found in the extreme north as well, and feature a much cooler and wetter climate, with snowfall common at higher altitudes. <laughs> Population and society <laughs> Demographics The province is home to over half the population of Pakistan. Punjabis are a heterogeneous group comprising different tribes, clans, Urdu, Bradri and communities. In Pakistani Punjab, non-tribal social distinctions are primarily based on traditional occupations such as blacksmiths or artisans, as opposed to rigid social stratifications. Punjab has the lowest poverty rates in Pakistan, although a divide is present between the northern and southern parts of the province. Sialkot district in the prosperous northern part of the province has a poverty rate of 5.63%, while Rajanpur district in the poorer south has a poverty rate of 60.05%. Languages <inaudible> 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 The major and native language spoken in the Punjab is Punjabi which is written in a Shamuki script in Pakistan and Punjabis comprise the largest ethnic group in country. Punjabi is the provincial language of Punjab, but is not given any official recognition in the constitution of Pakistan at the national level. Saraiki is mostly spoken in South Punjab, and Pashto, spoken in some parts of northwest Punjab, especially in Atak district and Mianwali district near Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. 
The use of Urdu and English as the near exclusive languages of broadcasting, the public sector, and formal education have led some to fear that Punjabi in Pakistan is being relegated to a low status language and that it is being denied an environment where it can flourish. Several prominent educational leaders, researchers, and social commentators have echoed the opinion that the intentional promotion of Urdu and the continued denial of any official sanction or recognition of the Punjabi language amounts to a process of Urduization. That is detrimental to the health of the Punjabi language. In August 2015, the Pakistan Academy of Letters, International Writers' Council (IWC), and World Punjabi Congress (WPC) organized the Khawaja Farid Conference and demanded that a Punjabi language university should be established in Lahore and that Punjabi language should be declared as the medium of instruction at the primary level. In September 2015, a case was filed in Supreme Court of Pakistan against Government of Punjab, Pakistan as it did not take any step to implement the Punjabi language in the province. Additionally, several thousand Punjabis gather in Lahore every year on International Mother Language Day. Hafiz Saeed, chief of Jama'a Ud Dawa Judd, has questioned Pakistan's decision to adopt Urdu as its national language in a country where majority of people speak Punjabi language, citing his interpretation of Islamic doctrine as encouraging education in the mother tongue. The list of think tanks, political organizations, cultural projects, and individuals that demand authorities at the national and provincial level to promote the use of the language in the public and official spheres includes Cultural and Research Institutes, Punjabi Adabi Board, the Khoj Gar Research Center, Punjabi Prachar, Institute for Peace and Secular Studies, ADBI Sangat, Kaaksar Tariq, Sanj, Mon Boli Research Center, Punjabi Sangat Pakistan, Punjabi Markas, Sver International Trade Unions and Youth Groups, Punjabi Writers Forum, National Students Federation, Punjabi Union Pakistan, Punjabi National Conference, National Youth Forum, Punjabi Writers Forum, National Students Federation, Punjabi Union, Pakistan, and the Punjabi National Conference. Notable activists include Tariq Jatala, Farhad Iqbal, Deep Saida, Khalil Ojla, Afzal Sahir, Jamil Ahmad Paul, Mazar Termazi, Mushtaq Sufi, Biaja, Tahid Ahmad Chatha, and Bilal Shaker Kahaloon, Nazir Kahit. Religions <inaudible> 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 The population of Punjab Pakistan is estimated to be 97.21% Muslim with a Sunni Hanafi majority and Shia Ithna Asharaya minority. The largest non-Muslim minority is Christians and make up 2.31% of the population. The other minorities include Ahmadiyya, Hindus, Sikhs, Parsis and Baha'i. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Provincial government The government of Punjab is a provincial government in the federal structure of Pakistan, is based in Lahore, the capital of the Punjab province. The Chief Minister of Punjab CM is elected by the Provincial Assembly of the Punjab to serve as the head of the provincial government in Punjab, Pakistan. The current Chief Minister is Shabazz Sharif, who became the Chief Minister of Punjab as being restored after Governor's rule starting from 25 February 2009 to 30 March 2009. Thereafter got re-elected as a result of the 11th of May 2013 elections. The Provincial Assembly of the Punjab is a unicameral legislature of elected representatives of the province of Punjab, which is located in Lahore in eastern Pakistan. The Assembly was established under Article 106 of the Constitution of Pakistan as having a total of 371 seats, with 66 seats reserved for women and 8 reserved for non-Muslims. There are 48 departments in Punjab government. Each department is headed by a provincial minister politician and a provincial secretary a civil servant of usually BPS 20 or BPS 21. All ministers report to the chief minister, who is the chief executive. All secretaries report to the chief secretary of Punjab, who is usually a BPS 22 civil servant. The chief secretary in turn reports to the chief minister. In addition to these departments, there are several autonomous bodies and attached departments that report directly to either the secretaries or the chief secretary. Divisions 
When the divisions were restored as a tier of government in 2008, a 10th division, Shikapura Division, was created from part of Lahore Division. Districts Major cities Economy Punjab has the largest economy in Pakistan, contributing most to the national GDP. The province's economy has quadrupled since 1972. Its share of Pakistan's GDP was 54.7% in 2000 and 59% as of 2010. It is especially dominant in the service and agriculture sectors of Pakistan's economy. With its contribution ranging from 52.1% to 64.5% in the service sector and 56.1% to 61.5% in the agriculture sector. It is also major manpower contributor because it has largest pool of professionals and highly skilled technically trained manpower in Pakistan. It is also dominant in the manufacturing sector, though the dominance is not as huge, with historical contributions ranging from a low of 44% to a high of 52.6%. In 2007, Punjab achieved a growth rate of 7.8% and during the period 2002-03 to 2007-08, its economy grew at a rate of between 7% to 8% per year, and during 2008-09 grew at 6% against the total GDP growth of Pakistan at 4%. Despite the lack of a coastline, Punjab is the most industrialized province of Pakistan. Its manufacturing industries produce textiles, sports goods, heavy machinery, electrical appliances, surgical instruments, vehicles, auto parts, metals, sugar mill plants, aircraft, cement, agricultural machinery, bicycles and rickshaws, floor coverings, and processed foods. In 2003, the province manufactured 90% of the paper and paper boards, 71% of the fertilizers, 69% of the sugar and 40% of the cement of Pakistan. Despite its tropical wet and dry climate, extensive irrigation makes it a rich agricultural region. Its canal irrigation system established by the British is the largest in the world. Wheat and cotton are the largest crops. Other crops include rice, sugarcane, millet, corn, oilseeds, pulses, vegetables, and fruits such as quinoa. Livestock and poultry production are also important. Despite past animosities, the rural masses in Punjab's farms continue to use the Hindu calendar for planting and harvesting. Punjab contributes about 76% to annual food grain production in the country. Cotton and rice are important crops. They are the cash crops that contribute substantially to the national exchequer. Attaining self-sufficiency in agriculture has shifted the focus of the strategies towards small and medium farming, stress on barana areas, farms to market roads, electrification for tube wells and control of water logging and salinity. Punjab has also more than 68,000 industrial units. There are 39,033 small and cottage industrial units. The number of textile units is 14,820. The ginning industries are 6,778. There are 7,355 units for processing of agricultural raw materials including food and feed industries. Lahore and Gujranwala divisions have the largest concentration of small light engineering units. The district of Sialkot excels in sports goods, surgical instruments and cutlery goods. Punjab is also a mineral-rich province with extensive mineral deposits of coal, iron, gas, petrol, rock salt with the second largest salt mine in the world, dolomite, gypsum, and silica sand. The Punjab Mineral Development Corporation is running over a hundred economically viable projects. Manufacturing includes machine products, cement, plastics, and various other goods. The incidence of poverty differs between the different regions of Punjab with northern and central Punjab facing much lower levels of poverty than western and southern Punjab. Those living in southern and western Punjab are also a lot more dependent on agriculture due to lower levels of industrialization in those regions. As of June 2012, Pakistan's electricity problems were so severe that violent riots were taking place across Punjab. 
According to protesters, load shedding was depriving the cities of electricity 20 to 22 hours a day, causing businesses to go bust and making living extremely hard. Gujranwala, Toba Tek Singh, Faisalabad, Sialkot, Bahawalnagar and communities across Kanewal district saw widespread rioting and violence on Sunday 17 June 2012, with the houses of several members of parliament being attacked as well as the offices of regional energy suppliers FESCO, JEPCO and MEPCO being ransacked or attacked. Education. <inaudible> <inaudible> The literacy rate has increased greatly over the last 40 years see the table below. Punjab has the highest human development index out of all of Pakistan's provinces at 0 0.670. Sources, this is a chart of the education market of Punjab estimated by the government in 1998. <laughs> Public universities Allama Iqbal Medical College, Lahore Bahadun Zakaria University, Multan COMSATS Institute of Information Technology, Lahore COMSATS Institute of Information Technology, Sahiwal Fatima Jinnah Women University, Rawalpindi Ghazi University DG Khan, DG Khan Government College University, Lahore Government College University, Faisalabad Gujranwala Medical College, Gujranwala The Islamia University of Bahawalpur, Bahawalpur King Edward Medical College, Lahore Kanard College for Women, Lahore Lahore College for Women University, Lahore National College of Arts, Lahore National Textile University, Faisalabad Sargata Medical College, Sargata University of Agriculture, Faisalabad University of Arid Agriculture, Rawal Pindi University College of of Agriculture, Sargata University of Education, Lahore University of Engineering and Technology, Lahore University of Engineering and Technology, Taxila University of Gurat, Gurat University of Health Sciences, Lahore University of the Punjab, Lahore CMH Institute of Medical and Health Sciences, Multan University of Veterinary and Animal Sciences, Lahore University of Sargata, Sargata Virtual University of Pakistan, Lahore Muhammad Nawaz Sharif University of Agriculture, Multan NFC Institute of Engineering and Technology, Multan Muhammad Nawaz Sharif University of Engineering and Technology, Multan Women University Multan, Multan Nishtar Medical College, Multan Kawaja Farid University of Engineering and Information Technology, Rahim Yar Khan Bahadur University, Laya Government Collage University, Laya Campus Topic private universities Beaconhouse National University, Lahore Foreman Christian College, Lahore Gift University, Gujranwala Havari University, Lahore Imperial College of Business Studies, Lahore Institute of Management Sciences, Lahore, Pak Ames, Lahore Lahore School of Economics, Lahore Lahore University of Management Sciences, Lahore Minaj International University, Lahore National University of Computer and Emerging Sciences, Lahore Pakistan Institute of Fashion and Design, Lahore Rai Medical College, Sargata Sargata Institute of Technology, Sargata University of Central Punjab, Lahore University of Faisalabad, Faisalabad University of Health Sciences, Lahore University of Lahore, Lahore University of Management and Technology, Lahore University of South Asia, Lahore University College Lahore, Lahore University of WA, WA Cantonment High Tech University, TAXILA Cantonment Institute of Southern Punjab, Multan Pakistan Institute of Engineering and Technology, Multan Multan Medical and Dental College, Multan Lahore Garrison University, Lahore Culture Punjab has been the cradle of civilization since times immemorial. The ruins of Harappa show an advanced urban culture that flourished over 8,000 years ago. Ancient Taxila, another historic landmark also stands out as a proof of the achievements of the area in learning, arts and crafts. The ancient Hindu Katazraj temple and the Salt Range temples are regaining attention and much needed repair. The structure of a mosque is simple and it expresses openness. Calligraphic inscriptions from the Quran decorate mosques and mausoleums in Punjab. The inscriptions on bricks and tiles of the mausoleum of Shah Rukhan e Alam at Multan are outstanding specimens of architectural calligraphy. 
The earliest existing building in South Asia with enameled tile work is the tomb of Shah Yusuf Gardezi at Multan. A specimen of the 16th century tile work at Lahore is the tomb of Sheikh Musa Ahangar, with its brilliant blue dome. The tile work of Emperor Shah Jahan is of a richer and more elaborate nature. The pictured wall of Lahore Fort is the last line in the tile work in the entire world. Fairs and festivals The culture of Punjab derives its basis from the institution of Sufi saints, who spread Islam and preached and lived the Muslim way of life. People have festivities to commemorate these traditions. The fairs and festivals of Punjab reflect the entire gamut of its folk life and cultural traditions. These mainly fall in the following categories. Religious and seasonal fairs and festivals Religious fairs are held on special days of Islamic significance like Eid ul Adha, Eid ul Fitr, Eid e Milad un Nabi, Shab e Barat, Ashura, Laylat al Qadr, and Jumu'ah tul Wida. The main activities on these special occasions are confined to congregational prayers and rituals. Milas are also held to mark these occasions. Topic: Devotional fairs Ors. The fairs held at the shrines of Sufi saints are called ors. They generally mark the death anniversary of the saint. On these occasions devotees assemble in large numbers and pay homage to the memory of the saint. Soul-inspiring music is played and devotees dance in ecstasy. The music on these occasions is essentially folk and appealing. It forms a part of the folk music through mystic messages. The most important ors are, ors of Data Ganj Bucks at Lahore, ors of Sultan Bahu at Jang, ors of Shah Juna at Jang, ors of Mian Mir at Lahore, ors of Baba Farid Ganj Shikar at Pakpatan, ors of Bahadan Zakriya at Multan, ors of Saki Sarwar Sultan at Dara Ghazi Khan, ors of Shah Hussain at Lahore, ors of Bulla Shah at Kajar, ors of Imam Bari, Bari Shah Latif at Rawalpindi Islamabad and ors of Shah Anayat Qadri the Murshad of Bulla Shah in Lahore. A big fair, Mela is organized at Jandiala Sher Khan in district Shikapura on the mausoleum of Syed Waris Shah who is the most loved Sufi poet of Punjab due to his classic work, Heer Ranja. The shrine of Heer Ranja in Jang is one of the most visited shrines in Punjab. <laughs> Industrial and commercial fairs Exhibitions and annual horse shows in all districts and a national horse and cattle show at Lahore are held with the official patronage. The National Horse and Cattle Show at Lahore is the biggest festival where sports, exhibitions, and livestock competitions are held. It not only encourages and patronizes agricultural products and livestock through the exhibitions of agricultural products and cattle but is also a colorful documentary on the rich cultural heritage of the province with its strong rural roots. Other festivals Vaisakhi, also called Basaki, is a harvest festival to celebrate harvesting the wheat crop. Colorful festivals are held at the time of Basaki when farmers are free to enjoy their leisure time. Various literary festivals and fairs are organized in many places. Basant is a seasonal festival and is celebrated as a spring festival of kites. The day is marked by wearing yellow, eating food with yellow coloring such as potatoes with turmeric and saffron rice, and holding parties. <laughs> Arts and crafts The crafts in the Punjab are of two types, the crafts produced in the rural areas and the royal crafts. Major attractions The province is home to several historical sites, including the Shalimar Gardens, the Lahore Fort, the Badshahi Mosque, the Rodas Fort and the ruins of the ancient city of Harappa. The Anarkali Market and Jahangir's tomb are prominent in the city of Lahore as is the Lahore Museum, while the ancient city of Taxila in the northwest was once a major centre of Buddhist and Hindu influence. 
Several important Sikh shrines are in the province, including the birthplace of the first Guru, Guru Nanak, born at Nankana Sahib. There are a few famous hill stations, including Murray, Bourbon, Patriata and Fort Monroe. Katazraj Mandir is a Hindu temple complex situated in Katas village near Chua Sidansha in the Chakwal district. Dedicated to Shiva, the temple has, according to Hindu legend, existed since the days of Mahabharata and the Pandava brothers spent a substantial part of their exile at the site and later Krishna himself laid the foundation of this temple. The Kura Salt Mine is a tourist attraction. Tours are accompanied by guides as the mine itself is very large and the complex interconnected passages are like a maze. There is a small but beautiful mosque inside the mine made from salt stone. A clinical ward with 20 beds was established in 2007 for the treatment of asthma and other respiratory diseases using salt therapy. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Music and Dance. Classical music forms, such as Pakistani classical music, are an important part of the cultural wealth of the Punjab. The Muslim musicians have contributed a large number of ragas to the repository of classical music. The most common instruments used are the tabla and harmonium. Among the Punjabi poets, the names of Sultan Bahu, Bulla Shah, Mian Muhammad Bash, and Waris Shah and folk singers like Anayat Hussain Bhatti and Tufail Niazi, Alam Lohar, Sain Marna, Mansour Malangi, Allah Ditta Lanawala, Talib Hussain Dard, Ataullah Khan Isa Kailwi, Gamu Talawala, Mamzu Ghalla, Akbar Jat, Arif Lohar, Ahmad Nawaz China and Hamid Ali Bella are well known. In the composition of classical ragas, there are such masters as Malika I Mausikwi, Queen of Music, Roshan Era Begum, Ostad Amanant Ali Khan, Salamat Ali Khan, and Ostad Fateh Ali Khan. Alam Lohar has made significant contributions to folklore and Punjabi literature by being a very influential Punjabi folk singer from 1930 until 1979. For the popular taste however, light music, particularly ghazals and folk songs, which have an appeal of their own, the names of Mehdi Hassan, Ghulam Ali, Noor Jahan, Malika Pukraj, Farida Khanum, Roshan Ara Begum, and Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan are well known. Folk songs and dances of the Punjab reflect a wide range of moods, the rains, sowing and harvesting seasons. Ludi, Bhangra and Sami depict the joy of living. Love legends of Heer Ranja, Mirza Sahiban, Soni Mahanwal and Saiful Mulk are sung in different styles. For the most popular music from the region, Bhangra, the names of Abrar ul Haq, Arif Lohar, Ataullah Khan Isa Kailwi, Jawad Ahmed, Sajad Ali, Legacy, and Malku are renowned. <laughs> Folklore Folklore songs, ballads, epics and romances are generally written and sung in the various Punjabi dialects. There are a number of folk tales that are popular in different parts of the Punjab. These are the folk tales of Mirza Sahiban, Saiful Muluk, Yusuf Zuleka, Heer Ranja, Soni Mahiwal, Dulla Badi, and Sasi Punun. The mystic folk songs include the Kafis of Khwaja Farid in Saraiki, Punjabi and the Shaluks by Baba Farid. They also include Bates, Dohas, Loris, Sarah, and Jugni. The most famous of the romantic love songs are Mehaya, Dola, and Bolian. Punjabi romantic dances include Daris, Damal, Bhangra, Gidda, Dola, and Sami. <laughs> <laughs> Social issues One social, educational issue is the status of Punjabi language. According to Manzur Ejaz, in central Punjab, Punjabi is neither an official language of the province nor it is used as medium of education at any level. There are only two daily newspapers published in Punjabi in the central areas of Punjab. Only a few monthly literary magazines constitute Punjabi press in Pakistan. Notable people List of people from Punjab, Pakistan List of Punjabi people, some people who were born in area currently part of Punjab, Pakistan and migrated to India might exist in this list. Gallery
Topic See also History of the Punjab Punjab region Punjab, India Punjabi culture Punjabi people Sarikistan